It's a stunner of a day in Wellington. Uh, here at Plymouthton, usual spot after work. Uh, low tide was about two o'clock, so I'm gonna head out, hopefully start fishing. Oh, it's quarter to five now, but sort of the goal is to be fishing at 5.30 because um, it's about the time of the tide I want. So, uh, see you out there. Looks fishy. Just pulled up at the spot. This guy, uh, Callum, from the local kayak fishing page just behind me heading out here. He's just getting into the sport and I'll put a post on the local page see if anyone wanted to come out. So, sort of show you how I set up. Firstly, got the anchor. And just down my anchor rope somewhere. I have a knot. Somewhere. Here it is. To which I attach my burley bag which I have on a carabiner. Sometimes I drop it right down next to the kayak and other times I drop it off the anchor. Uh, whoops. So, down we go. This is just a four mil rope from Bunnings. Cost me 15 bucks or something. 40 meters of it. Okay, I've just hit the bottom. So I'll put a couple of loops in it and then I've got a few meters more rope and then a buoy and then another carabiner and so I'll put that carabiner through there hook it onto here oh, somewhere that'll work for my anchor And then I pull it back and forward depending on the day and winds and currents and where I want to be fishing. So my anchor is attached to me next to me, but the anchor point is at the back, so I'm not tipping sideways in the current. Next video, fish. Whoa, on the slow pitch, nice. <laughs> Looks like it's getting down low. What was that? It looks like it's it does, eh? Yeah. Stomp them a fucking net to my back. Oh, what? My net is still in the car. Oh, all right. That's all right. Nah, I think this is a car wide. It's going out wide. Oh, Oof. oh dropped it. Weren't you the car king last time? <sighs> Finally. On the pilchard. Nothing massive. Kind of feeling snappery though. Feeling snappery? Feeling snappery. Good. Looking snappery. It's snappery. Good. Nice size penny. Right. right. On the floor. Oh. Pretty. Well, there'll be 32, 33, somewhere there. Let's go, bit. That looks a little bit better. Yeah, uh, still not that big. Really just scale dragging it up. What are we talking? Oh fuck, actually, that, whoa, Barracuda just chased my big gurnet up. Yeah, big sucker. Pilly, man. On the pilchard on the bottom, on the bottom yep. Oh, and with a Barracuda chasing it up. Huh? Dirty Cooter, they're a bit of a bugger on the kayak. Yeah, it's, uh, not a lot of time for them on the kayak. Fucking... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yes. Woo, woo. Yes. Yes, yeah, Fuck! It might be a Cooter. <laughs> might be. Probably, eh? Yeah, it's, 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 it's,
I wonder. I think it might be a kahawai. Gonna jump. Woo! Gonna oh, jump wow. quite high. Jeez, ours. Oh no! Get out of that. Get the gurnet out of my neck. Oh dear. Getting quite mixed up here. That's a solid cowhide. I mean, crikey. Oh. <laughs> Making a botch of this. Come on. All right. That was a bit of a shimozzle. Cowboy. Yeah man. Is that for a gannet? Yeah, that's beauty. Nice. Oh well, a bit of a mixed bag going on, that's good. Pretty close. Sun's gone down, packing up, Hank's over there packing up, not as fishy as I was hoping, but what a stunner of a day to be out here not catching fish. Still got, that's it man, still got a feed of uh, one gurnet, a kawai and a snapper, Hank got two snapper and that bloke Callum was out here caught his first ever trevally and it was a good sized fish too. So, um, could have been worse, could have been sitting around at home. See you next time. Oh, well, that, that